that pad down there. With the lights off, there are people unloading a ship. Okay. Probably another sublight contract. Oh, you weren't talking to me. <laughs> Well, hello everybody, and prepare for adventure as we return to the Outer Worlds. Um, so, last time we played, uh, we had just made it over to the Groundbreaker, which is the ship you can see here, having fixed the ship and, in so doing, uh, doomed a cannery town to um, obsolescence. Um, we took to the air with uh, Parvati who is brilliant, a lovely NPC, who didn't want us to can the cannery, but we did it anyway, because the owner was a jerk. Can we talk? Uh oh and we might be in trouble about it. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. Never mind. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. What about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. Of course. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. Ah. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Uh... Do, do, do. Sure, we could head over to engineering now. I'm going to be nice to Pavati. I'm not certainly not going to say, I thought you said you could keep this boat in good repair, or are you asking to leave my crew and join hers? Or, I don't think she'd be much help, but if you happen to be along, feel free to speak up. Let's... Th that is a polite request from somebody who isn't giving us a bollocking for ruining her hometown. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Cool. Did you want to talk about something else? Um... I think it's time you move along. I'm not going to dismiss her. Break time's over. Um, cool. Great. Well then, I suppose we're going over to engineering. Transition. Back, Captain. Thank you, Ada. Let's transition to groundbreaker docking bays. I believe we're going to talk to Gladys on this ship, oh, hold E, right, in order to further pursue our goal of freeing more pe- Party selection? Party Pavati? Oh, we can have, oh, we can have multiple companions and then select two to accompany us. That's good news. Maybe I should have, um, maybe I should have taken the Preacher Man from, um, up, 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 canning place. Um, oh well. Maybe we could go back and pick him up later if we're desperate. But I didn't really like him. But yeah, uh, I believe we're doing this in order to uh, pursue our eventual goal of freeing other people from the ship that we were. Uh, yeah, here we go. In order to revive your fellow colonists stranded in hibernation, Dr. Wells needs you to travel to Stella Bay on the terraformed moon of Monarch. Monarch is interdicted by the Halcyon Holdings corporate board, so you'll have to procure a nav key through unofficial channels. Right. Um, so... Uh, ooh, we've got the holographic shroud, I remember. Uh, Gladys is a black market fence, that's right. She's going to sell us a nav key to Stella Bay on Monarch. I'm sure that will be very uh, affordable. Should we... Let's, i tell you what, we'll talk to Gladys first, and then we'll go do the other thing. Hey, Captain. I'm in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. I love Peeves. I think she's brilliant. That's not the point. This hack would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had a come. Oh, Felix. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get two with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. I need a drink. Heavens. What was that about, Felix? Going for a stroll around the docking base? No, I just arrived. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. Well, that doesn't sound... I heard you knock someone out with a toss ball stick. The guy insulted my Rizzo's Rangers, all right? You can't just insult my rangers and expect to get away with it. Oh, dear. So, of course, I decked him with a tossball stick. I mean, what am I? Some kind of fair-weather fan? That's a bit of an overreaction. It is. You wouldn't be saying that if you'd been there. Okay. Guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? 
be the bigger man, I tell myself. Mm -hmm. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. And that's when you resolved your differences like an adult, right? <laughs> that's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. Felix, you are Look, awful. this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Mm. Got any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Oh. Scrounged together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Do you want to join hey, me? not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Yes. That's me, Captain of the Unreliable. No, wait, why do you ask? I don't want to take Felix on as a crew member. He seems awful, but I'm probably going to. Oh, just musing is all. Must be nice having the run of the colony. Never being anchored to one place, always chasing some horizon. It's all right. Hey, I don't want to tuck your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. What? Uh, you in a hurry to get somewhere? Oh, uh, not at all. Just, uh, you know... Gonna figure out what to do next. All right, so... See you around, boss. Uh, it really seemed like Felix wanted a job. Did I upset him by not taking him seriously enough? Going for a stroll around the docking base? All right, well, fuck you, Felix. <laughs> that was a waste. Let's go see Gladys. I really do feel like if I had... Uh, been more sympathetic. Customs and inspection, right this way. He would be more interested in joining the crew. Or interested at all, I mean. Toss ball blocker. Spacer's choice. Bypass shunt. How many do I have? How much money do I have? Oh, quite a lot of money. Except, let's buy those. Let's buy the mag picks. Cool. Ooh, this stuff's fun. Um, Exacto site. You know what? We can come back to this later. Hello. Identification, please. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, do I hand over the ID that isn't mine? Do I just introduce myself, or do I say I don't have an ID? Let's. Uh, full chaos. Let's pre pre present the wrong ID. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Yes? Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. Why? According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded <laughs> until such a time as they see fit to lift. Fuck. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. <laughs> How do I get this result? So I'm stuck here? Not stuck, per se. You could always throw yourself out the airlock. Excuse me? Of course, then you'd find yourself with an exciting new problem. Fuck you, Corporal Leonard, Leonard Wheeler. Any idea why my ship was in I take it this happens a lot. Just the opposite. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations here. Uh. They must have a real big bee in their bonnets, then. Everyone knows you don't trifle with Groundbreaker if you want to get your goods on time. But... If I had to take a guess as to why... You probably riled up the wrong petty board bureaucrat. A man named Udom Bedford. This has to be a mistake. Not gonna lie, you're in a pickle. But uh, Udom's an uh, interesting guy. <sighs> Might be you all could come to accords if you play your cards right. Huh. Records show this ain't the first time your ship's been impounded. Seems to get cleared up pretty quick. You might not be in this pickle for long. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Oh, okay, what? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Her shipment? A handful of SAM cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. <laughs> you seem to do your job very well in some respects and completely disregard it in others, Wheeler. No promise. Uh, got it. Much appreciated. Fuck you. <laughs> Is there anything else I can help you with? No. Uh, what can you tell me about U Udom Bedford? Sounds like a poorly spelled Japanese restaurant in 
the home counties. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Uh -huh. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Okay. So, so there's tension between Groundbreaker and the board? They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they gotta depend on. Uh. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Mm -hmm. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like, and that terrifies them. I suppose it would. Uh, I'm glad it terrifies them. The bastards keep pushing them. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, mm -hmm. but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Mm. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that. Would they? Probably would. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. All right. Well, hopefully I'm not about to ruin this place as well, because ruining... Edgewater, sure. They need to go somewhere else, find new jobs. The cannery's shut down. If I ruin this place, apparently it'll just be blown up, so. Sure thing. Let's, uh, right. Da -da 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 -da. I'm looking for Gladys. The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Wait, what? Be seeing you. Wait, was I allowed to go. Oh wait, he's opened the doors for me now, right? I didn't just voluntarily impound my ship like a... Oh god, oh god. Right, Bedford's there. Gladys is there. There's a workbench the here. The other day, it was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. Hmm. things. Oh, Gladys. This is Halcyon News. Oh. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind spacers oh, and shush. that passage to Monarch is restricted. I thought it was actually going to be news rather than just nonsense. Okay, so Gladys is downstairs. That or she's under a bed. Let's not steal any bit cartridges while we're here. There are witnesses. Potential witnesses. Okie dokie. Wow! Cool! Rizzo's Purpleberry Punch. You want a punch? We've got your punch right here. It's Rizzo's! Rizzo's Purpleberry Punch. Uh -huh. A soft, sour candy shell around a sweet purpleberry flavored center. Suck it, chew it, you can do it. I'm not, I'm not sure I like the way this boffet's talking to me, but fine. Uh, okay, Gladys is there, Bedford's there. We'll talk to Gladys, we'll find the engineer for Pavati, and then we'll go Ooh, from there. Can we rent an upstairs room? Hello, you. Hello, Magpix. And lots of stuff for us here. Don't mind if I do. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Can we rent an upstairs room here? Sure, peeves. Hello, Glad. Mm, safe. Hello, Gladys. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. Mm hmm. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Euphemism? Made without a single <coughs> natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store bought. Uh, Phineas sent me. He said you could sell me a nav key to Stellar Bay. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. So is that a yes, or...? Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. Hmm. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Uh -huh. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by mm -hmm. these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits... I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. 
Tell me about this. We need to pay 10,000 bits? Jesus Christ. Tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. Might be this mm -hmm. could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. Mm -hmm. But if you've got qualms... No qualms here. Let's hear the details. Do you know Edna over in engineering? No. Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. Mm -hmm. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. All right. Why was Roseway abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Mm. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Hmm. Say no more, I'm in. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. Hmm. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. This feels straight out of Netrunner. I like it. Not Netrunner, Shadowrun. Abandoned outpost, corporate secrets. Got it. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. I won't. You've got the quest item I need. Bye. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here. Take a candy with you. Bubbleberry bunch. Cool. All right. All right, peeves. I'll tell you what we're going to do now. We're not going to go talk to that dude yet. We're going to go talk to... Uh... Jun Lee Tennyson. The Groundbreaker's chief engineer. And then I guess we're going to go look at this uh, distress signal. Well, we'll... Okay, so we'll, we'll talk to uh, Jun Lee. And then we'll talk to Udon Bedford, and then we'll probably go do this distress signal. All right, busy, busy, busy. Oh. Well, this requires rest and key go card, energy cell. And we're gonna do some light left, obviously. Or when I say light, I'm taking all of that shit. Right, we can't hack any of that. Yoink. We can hack... Let's hack the big one. My machine gun. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Risky, risky, risky. I did not realise that door was open. Thank you, Pavati. Whoops-a-daisy. Okay, the cash register is definitely too much. Uh, okay. I like this place. I like all the neon signs. Obviously, you know, this game draws natural comparisons with... <laughs> Sprat list. Oh no, because it's made with rats? Oh no, sprats, because sprats are the little guys. Um, obviously it draws comparisons with Fallout, but it doesn't feel, it feels like they've not gone quite so hard on the it's falling apart bit. It feels very much more like an operating society. Oh, hey sprats, oh, you're all hung up. Ethel Gabler, Ethel Gabler, you look like someone who kills these things for a living. If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. I've got a fresh ground batch of sprouts. Fresh cooking. ground. They're terrified to lock in the juices. How about a grinder's dozen? That sounded disgusting. Fresh from the grinder, any hour. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. Cool. I don't think I want terror fried sprat burst or dehydrated water tablets. So let's just leave. 
I don't know why, but it, the description of those sprats having been ground makes me feel very, very uneasy. Like it makes me, I feel I do feel a bit nauseated by that. Even though like mince is just ground beef, ground beef. So like bolognese, that's you know chili con carne. That's 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 meat. It's a bit of a cow. Anyway. Four elevens and an old Yakita three seven. You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Peeves, you are such a nerd. It's very endearing, don't get me wrong. Oh, I'd really like to steal some of these things. Let's let's leave it, let's leave it. Plenty of opportunity for theft later. Junlei! Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain Junlei. around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. And you don't see many showers from the looks of things. You've got schmutz all over your face. Um... I'm Captain of the Unreliable, though my ship's a bit grounded at the moment. I heard we had someone in Impound. Wish I could help. I gave the bureaucrats a mode of authority over freight traffic, and it rankles them good when I challenge it. <laughs> Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. Hmm. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. I've done some light looting, but otherwise it's fine. I'll do whatever I can to help the peace. Uh, yeah. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. Okay. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Uh, once I get out of Impound, I'm bound for Monarch. Just passing through. Statistics don't lie. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Uh huh. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Thank you. Pavati, you wanted to talk to Jun Lee? Go ahead. Although it does seem kind of warm in here, what's going on? I'm going to ask that, because that's curious. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. Ah. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Why haven't you fixed them yet? Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Seems like a side quest. Is there no room for compromise? Surely the board doesn't want Groundbreaker to roast. They want us to sweat, ah. thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. Ooh. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Oh. Uh. You need a contractor to work this out on a reasonable for a reasonable rate. Let's try it. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. Yes. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back base. What? But there's a catch, right? Like, if the parts are aboard, then... The back bays are on a lower deck, ah. long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Got it. I'll get you those parts from the back bays. Have you tried sending anyone else down there to get the parts? I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. Ugh. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. <laughs> I've, if I had a nickel for every time I've been told that on a job. None taken. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. Cool. Right. I'll get you those parts from the back base. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Alrighty. Wait, 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 hang on a minute. The ship's groaning something fierce, but I can make time for you. Hey. Pavati, you want to talk to Jun Lee? Go ahead. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but my cat scout is... yelling. What? I didn't think you just... Pavati, is it? That's a lovely name. Oh? What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual... Real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Nudge Pavati to continue. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Pavati. You can ask me anything. Marty, don't be shy about requesting time off if you need to compare notes in person. 
That's, that sounds like I'm trying to set a date. I'm just going to silently encourage Peeves. Wow, great. I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Nice job, Pavati. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. You're welcome. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. On you go, Chief. We'll be on our way. Da -na 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 -na. We've leveled up. Again. Right. What do we want to improve? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hush up, Scout. <laughs> Scout! What? What? What do you want? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. Oh, you... Fine. Back to space. Okay. So, uh, let's see. I would like to put our engineering up some, actually. I'm going to put tech up. And then we wanted to put up one of these for some reason. That's right. Oh, yeah. And then Hala heals the companions. So that's good. We've already got that, though. Let's just do that. And we don't get a perk this time. But we will next level. I forgot that we're wearing this gear. We look like Daft Punk robbed Iron Man. Right. Come on then, peeves. Don't steal the bypass shunt. You know it's useful. This is Halcyon News. This is Halcyon we News. Yada, 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 yada. Uh, return to the unreliable and ask Pavati about Junli. Yeah. Thanks to your introduction. Pavati and Junli hit it off. Check in with Pavati back on the ship, see how things are progressing between the two of them. Drinking sapphire wine, as in sapphic. Uh, maybe I wasn't imagining that Junle seemed kind of interested in, in Peeves. I mean, like, Pavati is quite nervous in general. Hmm, maybe there's a little spark going on there. Right, anyway, let's go talk to Udon Bedford, and then we'll either go check out the distress signal, or I'm kind of intrigued by this happiness as a warm spaceship thing. Um... And it would be interesting to to kind of advance the the Junle and Pavati storyline. Because I'm pretty sure I've already seen it. I know you were trying to stop. So like a tiny a tiny minor spoiler. So you know, clog your ears for a few seconds if you don't want to hear this, and then I'll wave when I'm done talking about it. But uh, so plug your ears. Now, um, I'm fairly sure I've seen somewhere that Pavati is ace? Um, or a romantic? I, um, I can't quite remember, but um, it would be interesting if that kind of comes out off the back of somebody being interested in her. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Wave hands so the spoiler people can come back. Hello! Um, and yeah, let's go talk to this... Uh, Wait, that's Gladys. Why am I here? Gladys, passage to anywhere. Talk to Udon Bedford. Damn it. Oh, yeah, because I can always buy the nav key. I followed the wrong thing. All right, that's fine. Keep up, Pavati. Bell shells. Oh, cool. Ammo place, presumably. Bell shells. Oh, this is not the right way. Sort of classic behavior from me. Oh, Go back to Byzantium, God. you gold-plated bastards. Whoa! Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. They're not on the stairs. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief Junlei's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back. 
I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. <laughs> so our dads would space you for trying, you, you waste of O2 okay, scrubbers. Okay, that was very funny. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the lost. I'm sorry, but I'm required to use excessive force. Was very funny. Guarding stairs for that walking mustache dude on fucking Bedford. I gotta get off this detail. All right. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. Entirely fair, peeves. This is Halcyon. Hello, Udom Bedford. Wow, you do have a mustache. Hey. All right, here we go. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable. Yes. A vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Nonsense, I am he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? I'm going to wring your scrawny neck, you sprat fuck. Give me back my ship. Alex isn't important on here to turn in Phineas Wells. Forget Alex, why'd you impound my ship? Fuck. I impounded Alex's ship, not yours. Well, I guess it's yours now if you're captaining it. Mm -hmm. It's a, a game we play, he and I. What? I ask him to turn in Phineas Wells, he tells me he will soon. I impound his ship, he explains why he can't give me the info right now. I ask him to turn in Wells. Around and around we go. Okay. Thrilling. Anyway, about my ship. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. Mm -hmm. There. I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? No. Alex never mentioned Phineas Wells. That's true. Alex never spoke to me at all because Alex got crushed by a, a landy pod. That's, uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? I actually feel a little bit bad about that. What's this about the board having your head, please? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Well, stop playing coy, Bedford. I don't intend to be. It's just a matter of trust. How can I win your trust, then? Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. Okay. It's, well... It's my white whale, I suppose. I can't tell you where Wells is. It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. Uh, I'd like to drown myself in work. What? I mean, I don't want to tell him that I know where to find Phineas Wells. We're leaving. Right. I don't... Because that seems disastrous for me. I'm not, no, I'm not, I can't sell out Wells to the board. I mean, I kind of want to help this guy, because he look. Yes? <laughs> Can I help you, Pavati? I do want to help this mm. I'll come back to you. I thought... I'm absolutely baffed. Because obviously, I mean, I could just tell him I know, and then not tell him. But and that would earn his trust. But the only reason I want to earn his trust is because I want to find out what's going to happen if I don't tell him where Wells is. So telling him where Wells is... That's a, that's a later problem, I think. We, right, we need to get a nav key. Uh... I'm intrigued by the sapphire wine thing. But I would like to do this first. Let's go do happiness as a warm spaceship. Um, let's go down into back bays. Uh, get the parts. Find out what's hanging out back there. Uh, ooh. OK. 
can hack into the admin messages in this uh, public access terminal. Yes, please. Anyone's... Ooh! From Tennyson. Subject, anyone seen Private Taylor? Haven't seen him in days. And where are we on that toilet clog? Okay. Not that interesting. Ground breaker meetup. Wildcat group. Okay. Hmm. No, no, this is very interesting. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Um. Yeah, let's go see what lurks below decks, shall we? We'll shoot some of it. Probably we may talk to some of it. And then we'll talk to Pavati about Junlei. Just see what's going on there. Back base. Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Excuse me? Is that a serious threat? Can we talk? Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Wait, 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 wait. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? <laughs> I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. <laughs> you came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. So wait, what? Put that down before you incinerate the entire deck. Let's just say that. I know this ain't a toy, neighbor from above. It's a catalyst, just like me. Keep talking. I like the sound of your voice. Is that the same voice actor as Thingy in Bob's Burgers? Who dipped him in it? Zeke. Zeke. Is that the same voice actor as Zeke? Let's find out. No, it's just similar. Anyway, I'm going to say I'm just passing through, I think. I don't think Junlei would uh, help if I mention her. Passing through? This is dead end territory. But you talk like you're on a journey. Uh huh. The path matches your step, stretches out ahead of you. Mm hmm. Yeah. The second floor is my place, off limits to the likes of you. Whatever business brings you down to my domain, keep it local. Well, that was easy. That guy sucks. A medical drone. Smells kind of like old Bess's outflow pipes. Get that automatic pack. McGred wants it up and running. I'm trying to think of a good name before I wake it up. Don't give it a name. What are you thinking? It hasn't got a heart? Not like mm. that. Cool. Scrap mechanical, eh? Ooh, let's. We want to go down a level. If anything, we want to go so up a level. Cozy. You don't have to be polite, peeves. What is this? Plasma rifle. I already have a plasma rifle. That's alright. Okay. With any luck, we should be able to sneak in and take this stuff without them noticing. But I also, like, I really wouldn't mind just blowing McCred to bits. Hello, everybody. I'm trying to go up, actually. PT? Who's PT? Oh, I desperately want to steal PT. Oh, but they're gonna notice. Turn around, please, outlaw. Let's just try it. Ah. What do you think you're doing? I will pay you for a four. I was just leaving. Don't let me catch you around here again. Uh, okay, that was great. What's a PT? What's PT when it's at home? Petey, a bite-sized guardian. This might look nice in one of the cruise rooms on the Unreliable. Oh! Oh, Petey's adorable. Very, very glad that I um, stole that. 
Okay, right. So... Oh, wait. The parts... No, wait. What's this? This is Corona. Sure, I'll steal whatever that is. I need to get up there. How do we get up there? I don't want to sleep. I need to get up that bit. Is there anything? It's not really a there's something I can drag over scenario, is it? Flash resistant lab outfit. Ooh la la! Hey, you. Oh no! What do you think you're doing? Shit! I was just leaving. You're free to go. Wow, well, that one has good eyes. So we need to get up there. <laughs> Boing! It's not really a mantling situation, is it? Hello, outlaw. Nothing else matters. It takes crazy to live in this universe. Crazy cosmos. Crazy cosmos. Ah, got swollen time. It's in there. Okay. No. What's this? Not another step in that direction, friend. Not another step in that direction, friend. Okay. Alright. So my cred doesn't want me to go that way. That's fine. Oh, look, a ladder. <laughs> That looks very useful. Okay, I'm not going in that direction. I'm going up. Oh shit. Okay, well it's gone south a little. Now, let's get reacquainted with our guns here. Hunting rifle, plasma rifle. Love the plasma rifle. It's my best friend. And a tactical shotgun. Okay, go on quiet. Yeah. This place is falling apart. How do I... How do I murder you silently? Um, maybe we don't. Maybe we just do some sneak. Yeah, let's just do some sneaking. Pie when we show her these. Okay, great. We've got the parts. Now we just need to sneak back and then, I guess, hoon it past McCred. Whatever his name is. Incoming. Shit. Peeves, peeves. Oh, shit. Murder. Let's just stay. Mm, no. Not another step in that direction, friend. No, nothing. Go fuck yourself in this direction, asshole. Right, sneaky, sneaky. If we can. <laughs> Shh, Pavati. Run! Run, 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 run. Well, that went great. We didn't have to waste everyone. We got what we needed. We're going to put the gun away while we're up here. Oh, let's not. That's right. That's a big door. Hello. You've returned. And in one piece. Color me impressed. Hmm. I got the parts. Good work. Thank you. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. Okay. There's a terminal in the back. 
Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manipulator infestation. Oh. Define slight. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. Sure, okay. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Okie dokie. Gross. I will make my way down there. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires. And such. <laughs> I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Well, okie dokie. I tell you what. Because I like you, Junlei, and because I like Pavati more, we're gonna do this for you, but first... I want to return to the unreliable in order to have a private conversation. Which feels like a long way to go when we could just duck into a corner, but that's fine. The unreliable's great. You can buy all sorts here. There's even a medaba. Rizzo's mock apple cider. A hard cider for a hard life. Wow. Hard apple cider. Hard cider for... Mock apple cider. Hard cider for a hard life. I'd drink it. Let's go back to the ship now. Hey, you got a second? Well, well, well. Look who came Twitch, twitching back. Fancy running into you again. Uh-huh. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Okay. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. You're pretty eager to throw in with somebody you barely know. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Mm. All right, Felix, tell me why I should hire you. You're serious. You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I put together a little speech just in case you asked. Oh. Hey there. I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Go on. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's funny. Eh. Uh, secondly... I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. It should be. Let him continue. Why not? Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. Okay. I thought that was real good, Felix. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Okay. What do you think? Am I in? Pavati likes you, so yes, but I am going to leave you behind in, in favor of a better crewmate the first chance I get. Although, dragging off body shootouts, the hell kind of ship do you think I'm running? That is, that is a good, that's good. The fun kind? I mean, what else do you do when you got a ship of your own? Touche. Good answer, welcome aboard. Fine. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. Mm. You got a crew now, Felix. Felix can now join the party. All right, well, you stay there, because Pavati and I need to go have a chat. Tell me your secrets, hey, Pavati. Captain. Your return time is within 14% of the expected value. Thank you, Ada. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Mm-hmm. Sure. So, Junlei and I have been talking some. 
Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Comes from the heart, you'd say? Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. The trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. I mean... A, that's fucking adorable. B, Ashley Birch is just a brilliant voice actor. But C, I mean, you swap numbers so you could talk about mechanical stuff on a ship. And you get sent a poem about a lady mechanic arriving and fixing the, the engine that's really struggling. She is into you, peeves. I don't know where it's leading yet or... If I'm misinterpreting, I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. You're just about the warmest person I ever met. To hell with them. Could just be nerves. Don't say that. Um, everybody's different, don't worry about it that thing's plenty nice, that sort of thing's plenty nice but it's not everything, or well, folks have said the same about me uh, you're just about the warmest person I ever met, to hell with them thanks captain that makes me feel a touch better mm. I actually had another message from June Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it Oop. but I'm gonna change that right now okay, here we go Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking. Isabel? Who's. Who's Isabel? Everything okay? They were. close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. Mm hmm. They were close? I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Of course! Absolutely. Wait, hang on a minute. Great idea, drinking solves everything. That's not... Hmm. If that's what you want, next time we hit the Groundbreaker, drinks are on me. Are you sure you can hold your liquor? I don't think drinking is going to solve this problem. Wouldn't it be easier to talk to her about this Isabel person? Hmm... Let's ask if it wouldn't be easier to talk to her about this Isabel person. Because she's making... She's making an admission here. Oh, Pavati, you look so worried. Maybe for you. I start thinking about all the things she could say and my guts start crawling up my throat. Oh. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was No, there. I'll go for a drink with you. Peeps, we can go drinking. I wasn't saying no. Oh, Pavati. Right, okay. Let's go sort this out. Let's go talk to, to Junlei about Isabel. Party selection. Nah, Felix, you get you get comfy, buddy. You get comfortable. This is not this isn't a Felix situation. We'll take you on the next one. We'll take you on the signal thing. All right, Pavati, we can... Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Take Oh, take Pavati to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. Okay, great. I could have sworn it did say go talk to her about it. Oh, talk to her. I thought... Okay, I thought it was asking Junlei about Isabel. Right, right, we're off for a pint. Hey. That pad down there, with the lights off, there are people unloading a ship. Okay. 
Probably another sublight contract. Oh, you weren't talking to me. <laughs> could be drugs. Could be bootlegging. <laughs> I was excited for a second there. Workbench? Do we have any... Modified. Are there any mods we can stick on things? Hunting rifle. Plasma rifle. Mag 2 power. Oh wait, no, I've already got that, haven't I? Never mind. Right. And we're in the bar. How's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Peeves. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Have lovely pint. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it properly. No, come on. You're not much of a drinker, better start slow with a beer. Or, you're new to the whole loosening up thing, how about wine? If you really want to get drunk, whiskey is efficient. Let, this might take a while, let's do it later. I'm going to go with option four, perception. Are you sure you want to do this? You seem nervous. Oh, no, that's just, that's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know. I've just been lying awake, thinking about what June Lay said. And I feel my heart shake. Mm. You're not much of a drinker, better start slow with a beer. Yes. I liked the 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 revelation that she's uh, asexual. Like um I felt like that was well I was well I felt like that was deft. I felt like it was well represented. I mean I'm not I'm not ace myself, so like other people may feel differently, but I felt that was pretty deft. The <laughs> ability for me to be like, oh heck, you're just, you're just nervous. That's so, but it's a role-playing game, you know. If you're not allowed to put your foot in it, then I don't know, what are you doing? Better start slow with a beer. Oh, beer. I guess, yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good. I bet. Oh. Bottoms up. Ah. This tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Oh, uh, we do, yeah. Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June. Here we go. Fierce. We're off. What am I doing? You're pining. Pining's good. Generally or specifically? Specifically. Definitely. Definitely specifically. Oh. Oh, why did I drink that? <laughs> I mean, just with June Lay. I don't know what to do about us. Okay. Start by telling me why her message got you so unsettled. I am loving this. This is the most fun I've had with an RPG in quite some time. Why isn't this why isn't this in more games? I suppose in Skyrim it's not quite the same, is it? Hey you! You're finally awake! Listen, I have to tell you about this Nord. He gets my guts all up in a twist. He sent me a scald who had memorized a poem. <laughs> anyway, start by telling me what her message got you so unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Yeah. Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. But that's a sign of trust. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after She all. sent you a poem. It's okay. No one sends terrible, vaguely sensual poetry, sensual poetry to someone that they don't like. That is an excellent point, but I do want to know what the message says. So, what's she actually writing the message you haven't said? It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? What is this really about? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. Maybe it's the beer. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. All right, we're sticking, we're sticking with... Ah, oh, wait, let's get you some water. Let's get you some water. 
come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Yeah. Hydration. Here I come. Yes. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. About what? I'm not going to say you need to get over it. And I'm certainly not going to say what about me. Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? That's the scary one. What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and she gets bored of me? So I could either say, don't stop there, you're on a roll. Two, no wonder you're scared. Three, there's an easy way to get answers to all those questions. Or four, fuck if I know I'm just here for the booze. <laughs> I'm going to say three, there's an easy way to get answers to all those questions. Because she needs that nudge. There's nothing easy about, about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. True. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. Yep. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? Then you go your separate ways. We have that in common, you know. I'm not interested in physical affection either. Are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? So you're afraid of disappointing her? Or you can't control how people react to you, even people you care about? Ooh! I'm going to say, are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? I think. Of course. Wouldn't you be? Absolutely, but it's good to hear you say it. Everyone is, no matter their quirks. Or, no, I am who I am. If people don't like that, they're not for me. Uh -uh. Or not anymore. Everyone is, no matter their quirks. Huh. I never thought of it that way. I wonder what June's afraid of being rejected for. Being covered in oil. She seems perfect to me. Maybe those are just my rosish colored goggles talking. To be strong like her. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. We killed like two people earlier for like a radiator part. Ungenerous thoughts. Something to work on then, or we all do, or so what? We all do? No, she needs to know light. Oh, God. Something to work on then? We all do. But we all do. We all do. Well, I suppose so, but... I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person. Worth caring for. That's adorable, in fairness. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. So are you going to ask her out? Oh gosh, I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Yes. You're still unsure? Yes, just ask her. Don't ask for my opinion. Believe in yourself. <laughs> what does the booze tell you? Or no way. I'm going to say don't ask for my opinion. Believe in yourself. Because that's, uh, again, another nudge that I think Peeves needs. Okay. I, I'm going to do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Come on, let's go. I have to say, right? If every drink and a, a a big chat with a friend I had went that well on one beer I, I'm confident I could solve the whole world's problems like all of them what if people don't drink a lot of people don't do that I'll I could have two beers but that's still one beer per person that was mm, that went very very well and she didn't get battered. And that was delightful. I'm really, I really like that the game gave space to that kind of story. And 
Like, that was tender and well written and I liked it. Take Pavati back to the ship so that she can send a text. We can fix the life-threatening problems with this ship later. It's fine. I really want those mag picks, but they are definitely being watched. Right, back on the ship we go. Where Kevin or whatever his name is is presumably hanging out. Boing. Okay. That's the best thing I've done in this game so far. It's chat to my favorite NPC. Space adventuring is tiring work. Cram it, Ada. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun. Good. And I tried some things I never would have otherwise. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. Yes. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. All right. Glad to hear it. Did you talk to Junlei? If I know one thing, it's how to stave off hangovers. No. Was there something you wanted? Or I'm just going just gonna to ask her straight out. Did you talk to Junlei? I messaged Junlei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Oh. Also, sorry for the typos. Hey. Okay. Not bad so far. Two, not to ask for spoilers, but will we be drinking again tonight? Three, were there any funny typos? Four, at least there's no bad poetry this time. Okay, not bad so far. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like, I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. So Junlei does like you and she said it in the most awkward way possible. Three, glad we wasted time drinking because Junlei's bad at writing messages. Four, if you two marry, you'll be saying, haha, just kidding, unless you're not. Right. One, she does <laughs> like you. Isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Level up, level up, level up. Quest complete. We earned a perk doing that. God damn right we did. Right. I really enjoyed that determination played a part in that. So let's really... Sod it. Let's just smash up our determination. Because then... Uh, Peeves will get critical damage. Oh, wait. Does that mean she's going to do critical damage to her relationship? No, it doesn't work like that. It's fine. Yeah, well, sod it. Let's just do that anyway. Apply. Ooh. Companion abilities. You can command your companions to use their special abilities on the enemy you're targeting. That's good. Right. Perks. Here we go. Here we bloody go. Plus 50 XP from companion kills. Sure. More tactical time dilation. 25% damage when alone in party. Faster walking speed. Faster sprinting speed. Um, slower armor or weapon durability. Uh, loss. More armor rating. Ooh. More ammo stock on vendors. Uh, these are all quite dull. Lower vendor prices. Yeah, lower vendor prices. That sounds like fun. Well, it's not fun, but we're going to take it. Sure. All right. In one more perk, we unlock tier two. So... Hopefully there'll be something interesting on that. Okie dokie, what are we up to now? Purchase a nav key, sure. Happiness, that's it. Happiness is a warm spaceship. Let's go fix the radiators. Now that those two are official-ish.
Oh, whoops, sorry. Oh, let's bring Felix along as well. No, no, sorry Felix. You can come on the next bit. You'll come on the next one. A mantisaur. Hmm, horrible. Right. Repair radiators. You see we had a conveyor pull in? One of them interstellar jobs. Boing. <laughs> I really like that robot. There's some good adverts. Aftertaste of the rainbow sounds like a euphemism for being sick, though. Hello, guards. A workbench discovered. Hey. Oh yeah, enemies. Uh, maybe we should have taken PT or whatever his fucking name is. Oh, well, too late now. Okay, use terminal. Archive logs. Eh. I was hoping I could turn off something to make it safer or easier. Manta pillars. Oh. <laughs> ah, fuck you. Oh yeah, that worked. Oh god. Oh god. Pavati? Oh shit, the bed. Oh. Are you all right, mate? I'm sorry. I didn't realize that there were more things there trying to kill us. Oh, you're good at this. I didn't even see those ones. Got them all. Sweet. Okay. Peeves, I'm very sorry. Can you imagine how bad that would be if we'd gone out and I was like, you just, you know, just talk to the lady. And then they began something tender and then like, okay, well, we're going downstairs. You know, just get a get a wiped out. Horrible. Like, hey, Junlei, how's it going? Oh yeah, yeah. No, I heard that's real sweet. About Pavati though, I kind of got some news. Ah, I just caught fire a little bit. Anyway. Oh great. Great. Sneak fast if you can. Shoot back if you need to. I can always fix them later. Okay. Kind of want to see what's over here. Hmm. Stairs. Well, there's no, there's no harm in having a look, is there? Boop, 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 boop. System. Searching for unoffices. Uh oh. Sorry, mechanical sentry. I did want to sneak past you, but you saw me immediately and then you died. So that's the thing. Uh oh. Processing. Sorry, sorry, okay. sorry, sorry. Oh well, in for a penny. Well, we'll go down and kill that one manually. Well, not manually, still with a gun, but you know what I mean. Hello, combat drone. Right. 
Good. All right. Oh, probably not going to be able to fix that one, are you, Junlei? Okay, well, that's fine. That's the terminal, all right. Wait, what do we have to do? Oh, shit. Uh, what was she saying? Ah, oh, crap. Oh, what was she saying? Is there a... Oh, no. Okay, right. No, we can cycle cycle the droplet pump, pumps. That must be what we have to do, right? Fix the radiators. Great, done. All right. Non-expendable personnel must exit the maintenance shaft before activating the cycling protocol. Wow, I'm glad I read that after I'd done it. The temperatures are dropping. Yay! Stop by once you found a way out of there. Groundbreaker OD, thanks. It's all right. Looks like my plasma rifle could do with mending. That's annoying. But oh well. Yeah, handy shortcut. Well, we killed some bugs, we stomped some robots, we fixed the thing. Let's go tell Junlei that I didn't lift a finger and it was all Pavati. Peeves? Hello? Where have you... Keep up? Ah, were you stopping to text? Stuff into text. You turn the radiators. I think you are real neat. This is Halcyon. Uh, after you, Pavati. <laughs> right. Hello. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. Pavati. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Cool. What's it like being a command around here? No, we'll be on our way. All right. Hey, maybe we can do this legit, legitimately by just doing lots of jobs around here. Uh, solution vital, talk to... Oh, yeah. The small grave matter. Oh, sod the small grave matter. Let's talk to Dorset in the sick bay. Wait a minute, hang on. Smell that fresh air? Almost better than being outside. What do you need, Captain? Uh, nope. All right. How much money do hey. we have? You the one who fixed those radiators? Nice work. You really saved our buns. Whenever you're free, let's have a chat. Oh, there you are, Edna. Hello, Edna Ingmeyer. She has sent me a scald who has memorized the following message. You up? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh dear. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. I'm good. Why would we run out of time? You headed somewhere? Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. Ah. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or uh, sometime dire soon. Why? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The events forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. Oh. That'll put the whole system in a right dire situation. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range uh. went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Sounds like it's time to get the auxiliary station back online. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. First name terms? Uh-uh. She's 
potentially spoken for, actually. I could check out the relay, no need for official sign-off in that case. What's in it for me if I investigate your relay problem? Seems irresponsible not to have fixed your backup relay before now, or another time maybe. What's in it for me if I investigate? You save my comm center from chaos. I guarantee I'll get the chief to authorize some payment forms with your name on them while you're out fixing the station. Mm hmm. I could check out the relay. No need for official sign-off in that case. Let's do it. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. <laughs> I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? Sure. You just let messages from Earth sit in memory on an orbital relay? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. Mm. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Wee! I'm off. Okie dokie then. Well, let's see what we got. So, silent voices, which is the thing we were just talking about. The distress signal, which is the thing from Gladys, which I think will give us a fair chunk of, of cash. Oh, and we need to talk to Dr. Wanda Dorset in the sick bay. Well, that's the we don't have to leave the ship in order to do that. So we'll go talk to Dorset. We'll set up some side quests. And then next episode, we'll grind our way to buying that key. So help me. We'll even let uh, PT or uh, Jim Bob or whatever his name is come out. And uh, come on some some missions. Ah uh, yes, the Medaba. Hello, Doctor. You should know that smoking is not a good idea, including in the oxygen-rich environment of a spaceship. But you know, eh, well, you do you. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter captain. I am. If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Wheeler told me to tell you to get off his ass about your shipment. Wheeler says your shipment won't be coming in soon. Two. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. Uh oh. Who's Erion? Our delivery man. Checks out. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. Or dates with bandits. Hmm. What do you need mechanicals for? Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. Why is that? The board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. Oh. If we can't hire their people, we can't hire anyone. That sucks. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're good, don't get me wrong. But we've only two heads between us, and we don't know everything. Oh, the board sucks. The board really sucks. I could try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. All right. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start. Were I the adventuring type? Interesting. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Probably. Okie dokie. So. My inclination is, because I like this place a lot. Um, good healthcare is very important. Being able to send messages is very important, especially when you're in space. Um... Checking out a, a thing to try and steal corporate secrets, less vital, in my opinion. So, I think what we're going to do in order to try and earn enough money to buy this nav key from Gladys, we'll do Solution Vital first to find Captain Erion. Uh, then we'll travel to Relay GB23 to see what's gone wrong and shoot whatever's stopping the thing from being a problem. And we'll look at we'll probably look at the distress signal as well. It depends if we're still short on cash. I suspect we might be. Um, and yeah, that'll sort of that'll sort of do it. Um, in the meantime, 
I am delighted with the way this episode has gone. We've um, we've acquired a new. I don't, th I don't necessarily like him, but we've acquired a new crew member. Um, we helped Pavati out with a, a tricky interpersonal problem, um, thereby hopefully earning their trust and learning a bit about them along the way. And uh, we've set ourselves up for some exciting adventures here in the outer world. So thank you very much for joining me for this episode. I'm just going to nip back to the ship and then we'll do our farewells properly. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's nice to be playing this again. So um, as you are, hey, careful with those crates, huh? My cargo's worth a lot of money. All you do is stand there yelling at that should, dude. Sure um, right, sorry, where was I? Yes, that's right. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of The Outer Worlds. Um, there'll be more coming soon. There's loads more stuff for you to watch on the channel, including past Let's Play series and live streams and whatnot. I do have a Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. If you did want to support that, uh, over, support me over there, rather, um, and you have the means to do so, um, that would be very much appreciated because it means a keep uh, I get to keep doing this as a job um that's the usual gubbins out of the way so there's really nothing else for me to say other than uh, I'll see you next time thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day